Hello, hello to all the amazing people. The Neomer here with Summer Cards of Tropical Island. We're gonna be playing Summer Guidance Survival Sun, who is on day 79. So only 11 more days to finish the dry season, which is our like midterm goal to survive the dry season and get to day 90 when the things should become, if you don't get a rain, at least not so hot anymore. But yeah, we should be fine. We should be fine. The game doesn't get any harder than on day 90. If you go to our mental structure here, this is the stat. If it goes down, it will rock all world and we're gonna become unstable and have all kinds of mental issues. It's mostly influenced by isolation and comfort. So that's why it is so important to get your comfort really high to keep your isolation stat in check and your mental structure nice and full. And well, obviously it only works inside the mud hut, but you know, if things start going down for the mental structure, you just go into your mud hut and it's all good. And uh, the isolation thing caps out at 90 days. It basically simulates you being away from society and being, well, isolated. We are not lonely, we have friends, but we're still isolated from the society. So yeah, this is the main reason why I'm building my comfort up. Don't worry if you don't get it up in time, you can still do it after day 90 and so forth. You can stay on the island for 1000 days. You might have mental problems, but it's all gonna be all right. So our uh, short term goal for this episode is to like make a partridge feeder for our uh, for our partridges here. So here are partridges. We are researching a partridge feeder and we're gonna be building one so we can like feed them through that. It's much better than to keep entering and exiting and feeding them manually. We're gonna give them some worms now to make them a little bit happier, but uh, yeah. I'm gonna try to make them really, really happy. Uh, Mr. Nibbles here, not really nibbling us a lot. So maybe that name was Miss? <laughs> or maybe it just wanted to defy its naming, right? Anyhow. So devilish fun actually asks us how often do we need to check the birds and the answer is well not very often at all as long as you have the feeder that's gonna be suffice. We have 44 wood shavings here. Can we like put some of these inside here? Okay we can put a lot of these inside here. We're gonna put it in here in hopes of like reducing the lag at least a little bit. You can see how how it lagged a little bit when we opened this thing. Well. These are mostly to blame. You can also destroy them, it's not really a big deal. Other than that, we don't have very much quantity of items. The game does load everything each time you exit and enter the mud hut, so... Yeah, so for example, that's why we need to wait a tiny bit here when we exit. And when we enter the enclosure here, we don't have to wait almost at all. So we're gonna do a nice trick here. I'm gonna move everything we don't need from the, from the row here into the enclosure have like a million dry leaves so we're gonna start with that because we're not gonna enter there while we go between the mud hut and our enclosure very often so okay i'm gonna drop that off i wonder will the fertilizer make them unhappy well i'm gonna find out soon enough here i mean we can also destroy all of these things because we don't really need them but hey okay let's drop off this into there and a lot of palm fronts as well. But now when we enter this thing, it's gonna load a little bit longer. Well, not really. Okay. Mm, there's still some loading time there. I really wish if the developers can optimize this a little bit better. One of the ideas I had was to like, uh, let us add a uh, stockpile building similar to enclosure but just for stockpiling and make it really cheap so we can put everything we don't need in there and that it actually doesn't load when we switch locations and that would be splendid but uh it's still okay it's not like huge deal uh, if i start feeling that things are getting out of hand i will probably okay we need to plant some aloe vera right mm, yeah i would really like to do that we got some ash we got some charcoal what else do we need let's see well, we need water. We are not really stupidly well with water, but I really want some more aloe vera, do I? Hmm. Not really. Okay. Cancel then. Right. Well, let's start playing, I guess. So, for the partridge feeder, we will need uh, a woven, woven palm fronts. So, we're gonna grab all of these, head inside, and, well, start reducing the inventory, I guess. Okay, let's put some of these on the fire and then we're gonna make some weaves here. We're a little bit sleepy though. Maybe we should take care of that first. I don't know. There's some unsafe water here. Let me grab a... Let me grab my... Oh, there's the clay jar. Mm. 
Yeah, let's wash. So we're not hot and we're gonna go to sleep. My past self didn't really do a very well job with uh, keeping us nice and sleep, uh, sleepful. Which is not usually the case. I usually take very good care of myself, but hey, sometimes I guess we were in the rush. 62% some determination to choose your path. That's really high. We discovered a new blueprint. Okay, now we can check. No, we can't. So I wish you could check the blueprint without having to go to the location. Okay, this thing's empty, so we're gonna put that inside there. Good. What do you think, monkeys? Are these things worth eating or should we leave them to make eggs for us? So we're gonna need six palm weaves, three long sticks and some fiber cords. Okay. Uh, let's do like the sticks first, I guess. Let's see what's in there, okay. Okay, okay, let me grab my axe. So three sticks, three sticks. So let's see. 30 minutes, okay, a little bit overburdened, that's fine. Turns out it's very heavy to carry two monkeys in my hands. I'm not sure why we carry them in our hands. Just a weird decision, I guess. We are extremely hot, though. Uh, let's let's grab the clay jar. We could go to the, to the sea and wash, I guess. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, there you go, partridges. Okay, guys, hop inside. We're gonna grab some salt water with us when we're getting, get going back. Yeah, let's go and wash. It's getting out of hand, it really is. There we go. Oh, some more oysters. Oh, I don't mind that. Let's get some of these so we can wash with them. That's gonna be wonderful. Let's head back. 15 minutes. Wait, what? Oh yeah, we're overburdened. I was like, don't we have a pad here? <laughs> As for my long-term goals, uh, yeah, I would like to max out my comfort. And uh, I would like to show you everything there is to be shown on this wonderful island. So, yeah. Okay, let's do that. And let's... Uh, let's go drink. Because uh, having low hydration will also make you overheat faster because you just don't have the water protecting you from the effects there we go and we should probably go and uh, make this unsafe water safe there we go wonderful and okay let's do that good this salt water i guess we can just keep it in here okay um let's see we got some of these we're gonna break them open so they don't spoil Okay, and let's do some weaving. So I forgot how many we need, but we need quite a few. So how are we doing with food? Uh, we are a little bit hungry. I left the baskets with food outside, but it's okay. We got some maneuver here. Monkeys are like being afraid. Turns out they're afraid of everything. If we kill a monkey, they're afraid. If we weave, they're afraid. Go figure. I don't know, I think they're just like have two soft hearts, really. Okay, anyhow, let's eat a shark. Uh, let's go and go back inside. But they just should still be fine. We found some oysters, maybe we find some pearls inside, that would be really cool. We are happy when we open these for some reason. Okay. And let's do that. So I think we need six, right? So three, four, five six and then we're gonna wash and i believe we need like four cords or so oh jeffrey on a snack and uh, there you go a nice snack okay well i'm still waiting to get bitten for feeding them crap but uh, obviously they're like no this is our master he's he's so nice to us well yeah i am thank you Jeffrey. Okay, and Nibble's like, no, need to be Nibble. Don't Nibble. Be nice. Be nice. Anyhow, we're gonna need like four cords, I think we saw, and we have none, so let's make some of those as well. And we are still lacking like one stick, so we'll need to do that. Okay. Okay, it's hot again, so let's wash and there. What else? Food. Okay, cooked shark. 58% food. Mm, yams still going well and the egg that one of the monkeys brought we got the yam curry we'll need to eat as well okay let's eat these and maybe you know maybe we can think about going to sleep but 
Let's do a figurine and like this things. I'm gonna spoil. Okay, let's grab the knife. So let's continue. Oh, I don't know what that was, but rest in peace, I guess. Okay, make a nice wood carving here. Oh, this Neo, he just carves stuff all day and night. Will he ever show us something new? Well, I show you partridges, isn't that nice? But we want to see dynamite, dynamite. Yes, I did promise to show you dynamite. I'll show you dynamite, but when the time is right, like you can't like, you can't rush things, then you die. In this game, if you rush things, you die. It's just as simple as that. Copper spear needs repairing, so we're gonna dismantle it here. Always dismantle your tools to get everything back, I'd say. Okay, and then let's remake it. And interestingly enough, Spear Heat is 100% durability. That doesn't seem right. It should be less. We should need to resharpen it. Uh, hunting, melee, copper spear. Yeah, that seems a little bit buggy. Buggy. If I forget, let developers know that when you break the copper spear apart, you get the copper spear hat at 100% and you don't need to resharpen it, which is weird. Maybe that's by design though. It seems like we lost one cord though, so we'll need to remake one. There we go. Let's go and sleep for like an hour here. Okay, make a couple more of these. Sleep for another hour. And for another hour. We could have slept for four hours, I guess. Okay. Right, let's grab the cords. I think we need four, right? Uh, how are the monkeys doing? They're okay-ish. They're okay-ish. We're gonna give them some water. Mm. Yeah, sure, why not? There you go. Happy monkeys. Okay, cool. Uh, let's wash. Oh, we should have washed with that. That's okay. Um, yeah, let's go and finish that. So we're gonna grab the weave. Uh, let's grab these inside there. Okay, good. Let's go make the partridge feeder. Also, we're gonna need to fill it with something because, hey, what's the use of the feeder if it's empty, right? And we'll need another stick, I believe. So let's grab our ax here, or two, actually, because we left the other one inside. Okay. Okay, 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 I think this should be it. Let's go make the feeder for them. They don't need water though. They are fine finding their own water. Look at how unhappy they get because they don't have the feeder. There we go, one hour, bam. We learned how to make bird feed. Bird feed fills the partridge feeder to 100%. It's the best way to feed them. Uh, Okay, right now we really don't have anything here we can feed them with. Let's try to scavenge a little bit. We are very hot though, very hot. Not good. Let's go and wash and let's see if we have like something stupid to give them to eat. Uh, let's see, uh, some shark meat. Not really a huge fan of giving them that. Mm, we should also go, okay, let's give them like, ah. let's just go and grab some worms, I guess. Let's wash. Oh, a gift, a lizard. Well, that will do. That will 100% do. Although, let's give it to Mr. Nibbles instead. Okay, let's eat one of these. And let's go grab some water into our wonderful supplies. So we're going to drop this off. We're also going to grab some worms while we are there. Okay. Yeah, we don't need as many. We're going to leave like 10 here. Yeah, let's start like emptying this crap here. Um, I have a feeling we'll really not need so many leaves. We're not even using them like at all. So we're going to grab that. We're going to grab all the wood shavings. We're going to grab, uh, we're going to grab the leaves. Okay. I'm going to grab all of that and carry it into the dark cave. There we go. We can't even carry that much. Well, we can if you grab the Zack as well. What's inside here? Some food. Let's leave that here. Okay, some cleaning up, I guess. Uh, spring cleaning. Be nice, guys, while I'm gone. I'm gonna go and grab some worms for the partridges. So we're gonna do that inside wetlands. There we go. And let's go to the dark cave. Day 80. Day 80. 
Right, so we need to start the fire. Uh, so we're gonna need a wood shaving. There we go. I'm gonna empty this. We're gonna empty that. Okay. Right, grab that, grab that. Let's go inside into the damp cave. Grab that. Yeah, this was definitely nerf, I, I feel like. Mm, some geodes. Maybe we, we could empty some of those. I mean, crack open. Yeah, that would be cool. There we go. Uh, I think we can turn this thing off. There. Dirt we might find useful. Stones, bones, copper, feathers, leaves. Okay, all of it useless. Oh yeah, right. I totally forgot what we came here for. <laughs> like, partridges are watching me with the tears in their eyes. <laughs> He said there's gonna be vermi boys. I don't see any vermi boys here. Okay, there's gonna be vermi boys, don't worry. There we go, vermi boys. Okay. Uh, there we go. Turn this thing off. Let's exit. Anything else we wanna grab here? Not particularly. Okay, this nice well is giving us more water and it's gonna be crucial if you want to survive here because, well, Things are not really ideal, are they, when it comes to, like, our thirst. Okay, before we feed the partridges, though, we need to wash, so we're gonna do that. Yeah, still a little bit long to load. Mm. Yeah, no, maybe we need to reduce the number of items. Still. What do we have in large quantities? Well, not much. Well, everything we had in large quantities is left. Yeah, it's okay, maybe I just need a new PC. Uh, okay, 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 let's put this unsafe water into some pots and start, like, uh, boiling it. There we go. Good, to make it nice and safe, wonderful. What do we have in here? Some geodes. Okay, we'll definitely break these open. That's gonna be nice. Uh, that goes there. Anything else we have? So geodes can sometimes have some very useful things inside. What we're looking for are like Stella crystals. Crystals, yes. Okay, did we research the bird feed yet? No, ready in nine minutes. Okay, well, just in time, really. Uh, let's use this time to like grab some water and go see if our plantations need it. Just in case, just in case. We're gonna grab this thing. We planted some more chilies, so I don't want it to like get lost, so. Okay, grasslands. Okay, 84% done. I think that's gonna be fine. Okay, ready in two days. That's gonna be fine. And yeah, let's just head back. Not waste water on that. But it was a smart idea to check. Okay, vermi boys. So. Uh, let's see, anything else we need to research? Okay. Okay, so let's go to enclosure now. If you put one worm inside the partridge feeder, it gives you 13. However, if you process them properly into bird feed, so three worms here needed, this will give you 100% because you mix the, the worms with some other stuff and make it more efficient. Yay! Now they're gonna get happier over time. Of course, uh, enclosure, if it's dirty, it will reduce the stress of the... It will reduce the happiness of partridges. However, there are three things that reduce the happiness of partridges. How clean the enclosure is, how much... F if they have a food or not, and um, if, uh, if there's a lot of them. So, if there is only a few of them, you can have it as dirty as you want because, well, they will find some nice place where it's not so dirty but if it's too many of them then they're gonna be sitting in their own shit and stuff so it's not really that good right uh, well <laughs> i'm sure you're very happy about that picture in your head right now you are welcome you are welcome i'm gonna put these onto the fire i don't think we're gonna need it in the near future let's go back inside and be useful okay finish cooking unsafe water that's fine you can start cooking that one Okay, these bugs. Oh, we can also eat these bugs. Or we can just leave them around for now. Monkeys, are you happy? You're pretty happy. Yep. Okay, let's feed this beast. 
There we go, leave the rest. Okay, well, let's go grab some more salt water then. There's a lot of stuff here. Okay, let's put the, the these inside here. And that, and that, and sand we can just leave outside. There we go, and clay also outside. What else do we have here? We have this thing for washing, but we don't really need to use that because the sea is so close. Just gonna put this into the... Do we even have the tool basket at this point? Well, I guess we just use this into the random one. Or, you know, we could reduce our carry capacity and carry it in here. That also works. Because why not? Uh, right, geodes. Let's break one. It takes three, one hour to break. It's like quite a long time. And then usually you just get a stone. So I'm not like a huge fan of breaking those. But hey, I wanted to show it off anyway. Red in six minutes, right. Uh, water. No, that's fine. That's clean water now. Okay, let's drink it up. And I guess we're gonna go and grab some more coconuts, so because we are running out of water and stuff. What's in there? Some bucks. Okay. Right. Let's go grab some coconuts. And yeah, I guess with uh, with our goal of this episode completed to make the partridge feeder, uh, I can do whatever we want. Uh, let's go to the bay. I would like to train some more swimming. So in order to be able to win in this game, you need to get. Uh, you need to get this determination up to 100% and then you will get two options, escape from the island or make the islander home. So raising determination is done by either like uh, doing like uh, raising the courage, drinking wine, uh, surviving on the island for a long time or doing these objectives. So you don't, I don't think these are actually mandatory. Uh, on other characters they might be, but I would still like to train all of these skills so we can check this out, right? Fishing's gonna take a bit though, but hey. Anyhow, since we're not doing it like at all. We could do a little bit fishing, right? Yeah, let's spear fish when there are sharks. That's like a very good idea. Okay, let's swim a little bit more. There we go. What else do we need to do? We need to train climbing. Uh, let's find us a palm tree then. I'm sorry, I feel comfortable right now with everything. Train certain I can do it. Yay. You fell and got some bruises. If you train, you can't really get hurt a lot. Well, most of the time anyway. Okay, let's store the food. And I think we came here actually to grab some coconuts, didn't we? There we go. Okay, we are... There we go. Okay, some coconuts. Beautiful. I'm gonna leave the palm fronts here, I think. Okay, urchin we can take with us. Okay, let's rest. So, if you are, uh, like, let's see, what's up with my stuff? Yeah, it seems like I'm not really wet a lot, because we only have food wrapping. So, this is one of the problems, right? You're going to be overheating unless you have some clothing, which will keep you nice and cold. So, for example, now, my character, uh, my character here is, like, hot, even though I'm wet, right? But I'm only wet with food wrappings and, well, hotness reduces my wetness. It's like so hot right now that even with even with food wrappings, we are not really like doing much to being like super hot. So, what we really need here is, uh, there we go. What we really need here is more clothing. So we're going to go and work on that. Okay, that's kind of important. Okay, compost bin is empty. Let's check out our partridges. Are they doing better now? Okay, they're up to 19. Our day food is going up and the food in partridge feeder is going down. So I think for two partridges, you can check it like two or three times. Uh, every two or three days. But if you want eggs every day, you should check it all the time. However, unhappy partridges will not lay a lot of eggs. So you will need to wait a little bit for that to start happening. Okay, we got some cooked sharks here. We will go and smoke them. And then we're gonna eat our yam curry here. And then we're gonna go make some clothes. Uh, so we're gonna need some... Don't we have like some stuff on the shelf? And we got a yarn and one rope. Okay, that's kind of sad, isn't it? Okay, let's make a yarn here. We're gonna need two yarns. Well, four for everything, but let's do it in two steps, right? Okay. No matter I'm doing so bad with water. No wonder. No wonder we are doing so bad with water since uh, the trap triggered. Since we are like... 
Okay. Make food wrappings. Since our wrappings broke and yeah. Wash no. These are operating really fast. Okay. Right, and now we're gonna be more vet because oh current status, vetness. Okay, influenced by doesn't say here, but we have like two things being wet now, which is putting our heat matter at better at better state, comfortable. I'll probably make hand wrappings as well because why not? Anyhow, let's go inside, process some coconuts. We have a lot of coconuts actually. Okay, the shark is smoked, so yeah, we resetted it, so it can like stay here in a little bit longer. Unspoilable food, 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 egg, and some yams. This spoil really slowly, so there's no rush to do those. How my body is here. Yeah, it's, they're kind of fine-ish. There we go. You peel that. Hey. Can't we get that in the hand? Why is this going to the middle row? Oh, maybe because monkey is sitting there. What if we put the monkey here? Will it go into our hand? It will. Okay, that's pretty cool, actually. Okay, so we got some coconuts to drink. I probably don't want these to spoil, so we're just gonna, you know, open it up. And then we'll see if we make oil from it or something. But anyway, time to drink up. And there we go. And there. How are we doing with oil? Yeah, we're doing pretty good. <laughs> so not much to do. We could do a jungle salad, I guess. How's our campfire? I mean campfire. Our proper fire. So jungle salad. We are hot. That's all right. Hot is fine. Very hot is not. But if you're in a really bad spot, water-wise, you don't want to be hot either. But um, we are not in such a bad spot. So okay, that looks pretty good. Okay, there's our breakfast. Uh, let's make a figurine maybe. Although our uh, home port is really high, but I want to get it maxed. So that's the real ultimate goal: get the comfort maxed. Everything else is like, eh, whatever. Like a little bit of birds here and there, and eh, doesn't matter too much. Let's go and fix that roof. This is like one of the cheapest things, like easiest thing to do actually fixing the roof. So don't worry too much about it. Just fix it. The palm fronds are plentiful in this game, and it doesn't happen that often, so... Okay, let's do this thing. I'm gonna go and nap. There we go. A woman figurine. There you go, dude. There you go. That's what you should be wishing for yourself in life. Anyone hungry? Got some nasty... Nasty... Uh, nasty... <laughs> tasty... <b> <laughs> my, my brain... Uh, my brain... Uh, how do you say it? Uh, um, abandoned me not it like said things that I didn't want to say it made a treason it made a treason why is this thing not blinking huh if you click on it once it stops blinking interesting yeah okay oh yeah my brain betrayed me and it betrayed me twice first time when I said to the monkeys that the bugs are nasty and then the second one that it that it refused to Grab the the word betrayal from my d database. Uh, that's not nice. You make me look silly in front of all this audience as well. That's that's not that's not not cool, dude. Not cool. Anyhow, can we make another one? I guess we're eating jungle salads now. That's like the new big thing. Well, we're gonna need some more uh, snake grass for it, and I think we're actually not doing that good with snake grass. We have none here. We could go and try to find some, I guess. There's plenty usually. But we didn't find that in a while. There we go. So now we can eat that. Good. But I think uh, we get a lot of saturation from it as well. I don't see any saturation right now, so it's probably fine. Let's wash again. Uh, right. And let's make another jungle salad. I think we're already making it. And there we go. I'm gonna eat it a little bit later. What do we have in here? Some oysters, some urchin. This is all unspoilable food. Although I would like to get a pearl, so let's see if you're lucky this time. Nope. Okay, unspoilable food. A lot of unspoilable food. It is what it is. 
Okay, and let's do some wood cutting. And then I would like to make myself some more wraps, wrappings. And train some more climbing and spear fishing and stuff. Yeah. Let's go and train a little bit. Okay, and also maybe bring some salt water back with me. Although we don't really need a lot. We'll probably jump back here anyway. So let's dive a little bit and let's train some climbing. I need to find the palm tree first though. There we go. I could make a rope and train with it. I actually already have a rope that reduces the chance of like bruises and stuff, but... Okay, things are being a little bit weird. So... I'm not sure what's going on, but... But... I climbed... I climbed and I became hot right away. Even though I'm still wet. So I'm a little bit... Hmm. Wrappings, leather shoes, clear, bay, wet, stamina. It's because of the stamina? Yeah, a little bit, but not too much. Oh well. Okay, let's go and take another dive then. Okay, we can also... Can we use seaweed for the salad? That would be cool if we can. Okay, let's see. Anything in here? Oh wait, can we open this faster if we have the table? I think we can, right? Okay, uh, let's grab some of these. We're going to put them on our campfire. There we go. So yeah, we started working on our skills here. And then once the dry season is over, so on day 90, I'm going to start exploring the various areas. Let's uh, check out how the partridges are doing. So they are, okay, doing quite fine. Their happiness is going up. They're nice and fat. It's a little bit dirty in here, but should be all right. I'll probably not waste time cleaning that though. Not sure if any of this is upsetting them. Let's see. It might, right? It might. Manure might be upsetting them. Okay, let's remove the manure at least. Just in case, just in case that's actually upsetting and we're gonna remove it. We can put it, I'm just gonna put it down here. There we go. Okay, then let's see, let's see. Okay, this thing's done. Oh, look at that, just a dead mouse, too bad. I was hoping for something better, but hey, you can have it all. I wonder if you can catch anything. Oh, oyster meat. Surely you can catch stuff with oyster meat. Some seaweed. Let's see if they like seaweed. Okay, a little bit of experimentation here. I'm just gonna dump this in here. I'll need more dry leaves. I really don't. Okay. Right. So we can cook the mouse or we can just give it to Mr. Nibbles to nibble on it. There we go. Okay, let's see. Do we have any more coconuts? We do. Open one. There we go, mate. We are hot, yes, let's wash. Need to sneeze, oh my, oh my. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, right, so there's our food. Uh, let's see if we can make jungle salad with a seaweed. We can, that's good. Okay, let's grab some more coconuts here. Some jungle salads. There we go, so we got two already. <laughs> and we are a little bit thirsty. Water's not amazing, but it's not too bad either. There we go. Very hot again. I don't know, maybe it's because the weather's clear. It's like just pounding us. Yeah, we had some cloudy days and stuff, and it was pretty alright, but now the game's like, oh no, 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 no. You didn't see the last of me. I'll show you what's up. Okay, let's also make like hand wrappings. So that's gonna keep us wet for longer i hope although we are soaked wet see here seems like two wrappings is enough to like keep it full for a while if you check here 83 percent but it's probably gonna last for longer if we actually do it okay yeah so like 75 percent each is like here although the stove is actually also like reducing it i bite just a tiny bit now well, speaking of the stove we need to give it some fuel Probably not gonna weave anything anytime soon, so there we go. Right, so another yarn, and let's make the hand wrappings. Okay, and yeah, we are very hot again. Whew! Times are tough, times are tough, okay. 
Did they change anything? I always feel like sometimes I start feeling like they will change something in between the episodes that I do. But then they tell me, nope, we didn't change anything. You're just hallucinating. Maybe this game is just easier when I play it in the morning. Just to show you, like, that's... Yeah, I think we probably need, like, 67% wet each. And it's barely, like, giving us any wetness here. Also, leather shoes, like, all the way wet. Maybe we need to, like maybe we need a shirt. We'll see. Okay, we're gonna make some hand wrappings. There we go. Good. Let's go back inside. Let's grab these woods though. We're probably gonna need to feed the Okay, let's eat the salads. Okay, drop that out. Eat the salad. Good. Uh, let's put some wood on the stove on the oven okay let's wash of course now it's gonna be colder because it's like night but i want to see like how much wetness we get now when these things get down to 75 percent well actually now they're 50 percent okay on 50 percent well we can check it like this right the wetness stays like what it shouldn't mm. Oh yeah, because we are also wet by ourselves. But that's gonna go away after 15 minutes. Yeah, that's putting a spanner into my works here. Okay, then if you go here and remove... No, we're still wet. Like, what's going on? Okay. Yeah, I feel like this was way lower. Even with, like, quite a few of these equipped. Mm. Ah, doesn't matter. Just it just changes how often we need to spam it anyway. Okay, let's make another figurine. Um, there we go. I think we have enough chilies by now, so we probably don't need to plant more. Also, we are pretty happy just eating jungle salads. Our weight's pretty good. There we go. A nice goat figure. Bam. Comfort pretty high. It's gonna be like a little bit hard to get it where it needs to be, but some more wood shavings yeah uh mr nibbles and jeffrey there you go some food don't wanna eat oh you will want to eat let's see yep it's free if you do it inside here so we should always do it inside here okay and let's go and wash and let's go and sleep i guess there we go bam snoring noises <laughs> okay wash again let's make another figurine i guess that's like the thing we need the most right now a lot of lot of figurines okay and let's put that thing inside there i think i'm just gonna start destroying this we are getting them all the time and we're not really using them this thing is on all the time and we still have some lying around somewhere I'll put the leaves away, since we're not using them, so we're gonna put them into the random stuff basket. Although leaves are heavier than, yeah, leaves are heavier than the shavings. Hmm. Okay, so we should probably store the shavings and destroy the leaves then. Yeah, trying to like, like clean up a little bit here, it's getting out of hand. We're gonna grab the rope with us, and gonna grab some of these. We're gonna grab a lot of this, just gonna leave them on the, on the seaside. Okay, let's go and take a break. Do we have any more salt water? No, not really. I wonder if we can go, we should be able to go to the beach even during the dark. Trap triggered. And another partridge, and it's a female one. That's nice. If it's a male one, it says male partridge. If it's just a female one, it says just a partridge. There we go. Enjoy uh, and male portrait. <laughs> lucky, lucky, lucky. If you want uh, to name the portrait, you can let me know. Our future. Where am I? What's going on? <laughs> so, yeah, you can name the portraits if you like. If you have some good names, I'm just gonna name them. I'm not gonna make a big fuss about it like I did with the monkeys. So, yeah, just give me some names. I'm gonna choose some, and that's gonna be it. 
Oh, it's too dark for it. Really? You cannot go to bay from the jungle? Of course. You can go from jungle outskirts to the beach, but you cannot go from the bay to jungle. I knew that. I promise I did. Okay. I'm just gonna go inside and do something, I guess. Uh, let's see. Let's make some more quartz. Two times more. I'm gonna wait for an hour here. Sweat our asses off. Day 82. So we played like three days in this episode. Uh, that's not so much. Bucks spoiled? Okay, whatever. Okay, let's dive. Let's... Uh, oh, that took 45 minutes because we had a whole bunch of stuff in our hands. Okay, let's train climbing. Certain I can do it and without it. Won't make it and with this thing might succeed. Helps a little, the rope does. So yeah. Anyhow, let's train climbing here. And then let's grab our copper spear so we're gonna do some training there we go oh we actually caught a fish that's nice then we're gonna dive there we go then we're gonna climb again uh, so just some bruises that's fine well training is pretty safe so and then of course we're gonna grab some salt water here there we go put our gear back where it belongs no Really? I cannot put the rope inside? Okay, I can do it like this. <laughs> I was like, do you want to add a rope? Nope. But how do I put it inside? Well, this is how you do it, dummy. Okay, let's grab some more coconuts. There we go. Need a break. Sure, we're gonna give you a break. Let's grab some fuel here. Okay, put that thing inside there. Uh, let's do a rest. Let's do dive. Let's grab all the stuff. And let's go back. Good. A little bit hungry. Do we have that one jungle salad left? No, I don't see it. Um, yeah, let's go inside. Let's wrap it up. A little bit shorter, maybe, episode. And not as eventful. But I'm starting to get my groove on, on my plans here to like do... Little bit of training and stuff while we're waiting for the super dry season to end, but also, you know. Okay, this is unspoilable, but we don't have any room, do we? Okay, we're just gonna eat it then, I guess. Let's make another jungle salad because we are like super hungry. Okay, we're gonna need some topics. So, coconuts, co -co coconuts, coconuts. There we go, wonderful. And eat it, good. And let's drink. Yeah, really not doing that amazing with water, are we? Okay, empty that thing. Put those there. Empty that. Okay, you can go back, I guess. Nope. There we go. Okay, oil. The oyster. Let's drop, drop the manure out. Let's cook some fish, why not? Good. Bugs. There we go. Nibbles. Enjoy it. But yeah, we need to peel some coconuts now and start drinking them again. Where are all the coconuts? Didn't we bring like a whole bunch back? Maybe they are in the in the backpack. Yeah, they are. Of course they are. Where else would they be? Okay, there you go. Okay, this is faster. Good. Thank you very much, Mr. Nibbles. You're the inspiration to us all. A little bit hot again. Yeah, these clear days are really, really annoying. Okay, I didn't even notice how bad they actually are. So if you're struggling with this game, check if you're getting clear day after clear day after clear day. If you are, you will just have to try harder. Wash more often or dive more often. It's, uh, you know, <laughs> this game can be cruel. Not gonna lie. So... We do have a well full of, like, water, though, so we are fine. But, you know. Monkeys, do you need some fluid? You do. Okay. There we go. And the other one. There we go. Good. Okay, we're a little bit tired of eating vegetables, though, so we'll need to switch. Okay, there's something wrong. This is not something I used to see. Really hot. With being soaked wet. What if I take a little bit of a break? Nope. 
I think this is like really, really being insanely powerful right now. It's between 12 and 16. Well, yeah, it is. It's the worst time of the day with the worst uh, weather of the day. So, whew, melting my face off. Oh, well, what can you do? Okay. I guess if we take the leather shoes off, it's going to be fine. Hmm. Interesting. Temperature. Huh. Okay, these are pretty hot. So you might not want to use them. I don't know what to tell you. Okay, I think we found the biggest culprit here. We found the biggest culprit. Um, let's see something. Uh, can we? Okay, I can turn this thing off, I guess. Grab charcoal and ash, and then drop a whole bunch of leaves inside it. There we go. Who needs that? There we go. Okay, let's store our. Did we store it already? Yeah, we did. Okay. Huh. Okay, then let's make uh, let's make some coconut sandals. Interesting. I wonder if they are also hot or not. Okay. So let's wash. And put some of these on. Comfortable. How did I not ever notice this before? Well, they don't add that much. They still add a little bit. But last time it went from like uh, comfortable to hot and this time it's like not. I guess it helps if they're wet, but okay. Well, it made a, it was enough to make a difference a little bit before so okay let's just wear these uh, I think they're basically the same ish doesn't make too much of a difference okay, let's eat a fish here uh, can we make I wonder can we make okay can we eat make you eat that we can let's check out on the partridges we're gonna f like uh, wrap this one up hmm hum 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 okay there's the lizard Pair that, put that in there, pair that, let's go. We still didn't get our first tag, but we will, we will. 51%, there we go, put a lizard. So this thing can last quite a few days. Let's also go and see what's up with my, um, with my, uh, how do you call it? Plantation, oh, not here, but since we're here already, let's grab some water with us. Uh... Yeah, I misclicked. I wanted to go to grasslands. Uh, didn't we bring any coconut shells in here? Okay, we have five here, so that's good. Yeah, we have a lot. Okay, that's nice. Okay, good. Good. Can we actually carry all of that? We actually can. Nice. Okay, and go back. I'm going to put these into pots and start like boiling them into some nice safe water so we don't have to survive of coconuts anymore. Eight more days of dry period. I hope we can do that in two episodes. Next episode we'll like try to speed it up a little bit now that I know more or less what I want to do. So yeah. Um, not sure what's gonna be the next big project though. That's, uh, that's a good question. I totally forgot to put the pots back on the fire to actually make that water safe. Uh, let's do that and let's do that there we go so nice to have so many pots i really do enjoy them we need some wooden sticks now we got some okay let's see what's up with our chilies we are not lacking anything though other than you know <laughs> some kind of direction what we're gonna do next of course like just 
finishing the dry period is going to be a, a pretty nice direction, but um, I would like another one. Okay, let's wash and go to grasslands to see if our chilies are done. And that's probably going to be it for chilies for now. Until we get some more water for uh, some crop plots because, uh, well, some rain water because, you know, it's slowing me down a lot. Okay, chilies dried up. That's nice. And we have eight more here. I guess we can, like, grab them and put them there to dry. There we go. And this one we can maybe eat then. Okay, good. Okay, I wonder if you can plant dry right chilies. We're gonna leave one of these just in case. Just in case you can't. Yes. Okay. Let's go to bay a little bit. Just do some fast training once more. So we're gonna climb a palm tree. Train some climbing. We're gonna do a dive and we're gonna do a spearfish attempt and I'm gonna head back. Oh, hello there, mister. We got the seagull. Nice. Oh, we, <laughs> we, we fished out a dead sea crate. Interesting. That's not something you see every day. Pretty dangerous stuff. We got a little bit lucky there. It could bite you, but then they're not so dangerous, so whatever. Okay, some salt water here to keep ourselves nice and chill, which did prove to be like pretty important. Not in there. Okay. Cool. So when this Dead Sea crate like bites you, you get like wobbly legs or something. I don't know what that even means, but uh, <laughs> you can imagine myself wobbling around, be like, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Nibbles, help me go and bite my snake wound, get the poison out, and Mr. Nibbles is watching us. <laughs> Have you been watching trash TV again, dude? It's like it doesn't work like that. You cannot suck out the the venom from the snake. Plus, like, what would happen to me even if you could? Come on, don't be so selfish, Mr. Nibbles. I saved you from the life of being a monkey. And now you're like... Well, it's still a monkey technically, but your life is different, so yeah. Okay, so we got some water here, that's good. Let's empty. Okay, this chilies we're gonna need to prepare with some meal, so we're gonna put it in there. I'm gonna use the yam for that, right? We're gonna need one more though, before that spoils. Yeah. Okay, let's empty this, put the rope back, I guess. Okay. Well, I don't know. Well, we don't... <laughs> At least we don't have to do it, right? We do did not actually get bitten by a snake and we don't have to have an awkward awkward uh, conversation with Mr. Neighbors here. Look at me. Not only am I having an imaginary conversation, I'm having an imaginary conversation with an imaginary monkey. What's next? What's next? Are we going to go and talk with a coconut? Make sure we are. Hope you're comfortable in that spot, Wes. Let me know if you want to move you somewhere else. Well, <laughs> that's interesting, <laughs> considering he's like inside the the storage box. But anyway, that's gonna be it for ep this episode. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Nothing super much happened other than that some time passed. We started training a little bit. So I think that's kind of cool. So we are raising a little bit of our skills here. So always, uh, always raise your uh, climbing skill by training climbing on the palm trees. That's the safest one. Swimming, it's best if you do it inside the beach or rocks. Don't do it at the at the bay unless you can deal with a shark bite. I'm waiting to get bitten so we can show that. And then uh, what else? Doing a little bit of spear fishing, but I think we actually need to train fishing instead. So we should make a fishing pole and do that. Also archery, rock drawing. Look at all the skills. Insight. Well, that's an interesting one. That's an interesting one. I don't... Shows how deep your understanding of reality is. This is a tricky one. Let's talk about this one in some other time. Anyhow, we're gonna eat a fish here. And do we wanna eat? No? Okay, that's fine. Right, so yeah, our goal right now is to survive until the day 90 and then the game doesn't get any harder from there and then once it rains uh, we'll 
speed up our pace a little bit, do a lot of training, do a lot of exploration and stuff. So two more episodes of this uh, torture, <laughs> kind of. No, I'm really enjoying the game. It's just like, I'm like, what can I show you? You know, but it's it's hard. I, I made all the most important things, but I'll think a little bit about it. I promised to make tonic water. Let's see where it is anyway. Um, but I don't know if I have the the resources. Checking the birds, shovel very useful. Oh, I should also mention, shovel is pretty good for digging stuff. So if you want to grab the sand, you should do it with a shovel. So it'll get more faster. So thanks for uh, to Dr. Tasselhoff for reminding us of that. And then Universanity asked for the tonic water and totally forgot about it. How do you even make it? Okay, let's think about it. Maybe cooking? Would make sense, right? There we go. Boiling water, kinkona bark powder, lemongrass, and some sweetener. Okay, uh, that's not gonna be easy to make, but I will put it here. I'll put it here and it's gonna like trouble me until we make it. So there's the reminder. We're gonna need to do some sugar. That's from the Nipa palms. I guess we could go and try to pull that off. Lemongrass is easy. Chincona bark powder. We would have to start like uh, drying some chincona bark. We should probably do that if you want to do it before the dry season is done. And then boiling water is easy. So tonic water. Uh, let's see. What does it do? How do we see tonic? A bit, a bitter but tasty beverage that helps prevent malaria. Oh, really? To make, you'll need a high enough herbology, a clay base full of boiling water, quinine powder, sugar, and some lemongrass. Mm. Okay. Well, it's not gonna be super useful. Well, it's made from it's made from quinine powder, which is like a medicine for malaria. So it's pretty much the same, right? Do we use we do eat the quinine powder raw or tonic water? But I wonder this thing is probably way better. Interesting, interesting. But it's like kind of a late game kind of recipe, so it's not gonna be super useful unless you're already advanced, I guess. Well, maybe. It's not outlandishly hard to do it either. Okay, let's go into our unspoilable food basket here. I'm gonna need another one. A water basket. Let's put it into here, I guess, for now. Right. So I did not forget about the tonic water. I just kind of forgot it for a little bit but yeah now it's gonna be it for this video finally for reals so look at that almost one hour yeah just can't get away from this game so if you're not playing this game yet what are you waiting for maybe you're just enjoying to watch me play it instead and that's totally all right you're welcome you're welcome i'm gonna play some more we started a new series it's going well as well pretty hardcore not i would not advise it looks easy when i do it but it just shows if you have determination and knowledge what you can do in this game as for this run still only two monkeys we didn't see a monkey in a while it would be cool if some of them come here and we can you know befriend them in a little bit of a violent way but yeah, if you're enjoying my series, don't forget, like, subscribe, uh, be kind to each other, do something nice. I'll thank you all for watching, have a wonderful day, and I will see you in another episode. The Neomer signing out. Bye-bye.